It's important when you're taking all these parts off to stay organized. The levers is orders one, two, three, four, all of these are together, five, six. So I'll put them back on, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to work through the removal of the levers from left to right on one of these GEC transports. Here's a spares one. Um, you can still see that I've got the gears and everything sitting on there. Um, I've covered how to remove that in another video, but I'll use it as visual reference to show where things are. Um, so leftmost one, if you're looking from the back, that's like your pause lever. It's attaching by a screw to the hole beside my thumb there. Um, you can see how that is on this partly assembled one. So um, what I would do is hook that end off an implement, probably a pair of tweezers. What you'll find is if you haven't removed the right cassette guide, this part here that holds the cassette up, then the screw that goes through the base of that and comes out of uh, this hole here is going to stop that from going any higher than that. So you, if you want to get under there and lubricate, then you need to remove that. And then that is going to... Sorry, I should probably use a stand for the camera here. Um, but you see that bit that I'm tapping there goes through the slot up here. Next over is the play lever. It's a darker colour than the other levers in all the units that I've seen. And both it and the fast forward lever to its right are held in place by a spring shaped like that. Here it is in situ. So that central curl goes round this tab here. It's built into the main chassis. And then the crooked leg is held in a, um, what we call that, a tab that's at the base of that lever and then the straighter leg pushes against this tab on the fast forward lever. That part needs to be removed before both of those levers can be taken off and at that point if you push up and give it a jiggle basically that little tab there is going through this hole just above my fingernail and that will come out. I just want to remind you, presumably I've already covered this in an earlier part of the video, but the, the uh, rewind and fast forward levers aren't going to come off unless this FR stop arm, um, which goes roughly there, is taken off first because basically they're going to sit in there like that. So this needs to come off from the front side. Um, that's what it looks like when it's still on. Next, the fast forward lever. Here you can see that it's going to be um, partly obstructed and also attached to um, this part here. It's called the fast forward idler arm assembly. Really it's a little cog. It turns the take up reel in fast forward mode only. It's attached via this little spring here um, to the top of the lever there. Having unhooked it you would remove this plastic washer. See it's got a split. So you can pull that off with like a pair of needle nose pliers and then that will lift off. And then at that point, I'll just pull out like that and you can lubricate underneath. Next, uh, rewind lever and also the um, brake lever above it. What you're going to find is that's not going to come off like this until you've removed um, this kind of spring clip for the cassette which is held in place by a washer and a screw like so. You can see that's the clip I mean, screwing into place there. So you can see I can't I can't lift this one up because it's not getting past the end of that screw, so that's why you need to lift that out. Also in this more constructed one, you can see that both this play lever and this wind lever are held in place by another black spring. The slightly longer arm of this guy is going across the playback lever and the shorter arm is going across this the wind lever. And you can see that on the playback lever it's going into a recess to the right and on the rewind lever it's just underneath this tab here. The central part is onto this tab that I'm pointing out with my fingernail now. Um, so again you took that off with tweezers and having done that then that will come up and then you've got to kind of wiggle it a little bit to get around this post here but then that will come off and that's easy to identify compared to the other ones because it's 
on the one that's got a big writing post on it like that. When you put it back in, see that tab there? And you see this moving part here that cannot be detached from this main chassis. That tab needs to go below this. Basically when that goes up, this should raise. You can probably see that a bit more easily on this one if this was down. Pressing rewind would lift it like that. See that part went up. Likewise with the fast forward lever, the corresponding tab to the one that I was just talking about for this needs to sit below this lever here that's built onto the chassis. And uh, you know when you get around to replacing this arm then it needs to sit in the tab of both of those so when that's pressed it's going to lift both of these when that's pressed it's going to lift both of these other thing about this fast forward lever for reconstruction purposes is that spring needs to be reattached to this tab and the center of that needs to be beneath Play lever is pretty straightforward, um, so long as we've already removed the real base assembly, the brake lever. This will slide up enough so that wider circular part will come past the base of this post, then that will lift out. Um, easy to identify the play lever because it's got this sticky out bit up to the left. And finally, we've got the stop lever. Um, it's got a spring on the base here that's going through this hole that I'm tapping. Um, I'll just show you. That's what it looks like when it's still in place. This is the record enable detect thing. You need to lift that out of the way or the lever won't come up enough to lift out. Then with that done, you can put a little bit of grease on here and on the appropriate areas of these and reassemble it. And at that point, it shouldn't give you any more mechanical problems.